Each Friday, we'd like to answer some of the emails that you've sent us during the week. You've been wondering about fruit flies, the size of nickels, and does an absentee ballot count if the voter dies before Election Day? Good questions. Here's Heather Brown. Emily from St. Louis Park always gets fruit flies this time of year, so she wants to know where do they come from? Because in my house, they just seem to appear out of nowhere. They, right. Oh, don't they just arise from the fruit? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. According to an entomologist at the U, they come from the outside. Sometimes we bring them in with our food. They're attracted to the smell of rotting or very ripe fruits and veggies. How do you think they get in your house? Well, I think they're very small, so there are many entry points. Yeah, they can probably even squeeze through the screen. Yeah, I'm sure they can, yeah. Doug from Nevis and Linda from Ham Lake want to know what happens if someone submits an absentee ballot but dies before Election Day. Does that absentee ballot count? No. According to the director of Hennepin County Elections, you have to be alive on Election Day for your vote to count. Election officials will pull that ballot. Sometimes family or friends or neighbors will tell the election board someone has passed away. They also get regular updates on deaths from the Department of Health. And Siabzu from Brooklyn Park asks, why is a nickel bigger than a dime? Did you ever even think about that? No, not till just now. <laughs> Back in 1793, coins were sized in proportion to the metallic content of the silver dollar. And the nickel was 1 20th of a silver dollar. If they were smaller than dimes, that would be a problem. Because dimes are pretty small already. That's a tiny, tiny little coin. Right, yeah, that's too small. In 1866, the U.S. Mint took out the silver from the nickel and made the coin larger. Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> Do I get points or you like? Okay. Heather Brown, you do. Thank you. Good question, points. WCCO, <laughs> four news. And thank you, Heather. If you have a good question, please email it by going to wcco.com/links.